Scientists and companies worldwide are racing to come up with a COVID-19 vaccine. But what happens next when scientists tell us that here's one that will work? Not every country is going to be able to make these vaccines, especially a lot of developing countries. And there won't be enough at the beginning for everyone to get vaccinated. Countries could end up hoarding vaccines for themselves. What we need is a coordinated effort to distribute the vaccines equitably. And not only because it sounds nice and, and is the right thing to do, but because this is actually in everyone's best interest. For one thing, until the pandemic is under control everywhere, it's out of control everywhere. There will be travel bans. It could come back or mutate. And there are also economic reasons. If the pandemic is raging somewhere else and we can't get the inputs we need to keep our factories running, it slows our economy down too. Economic growth in the rest of the world is also super important for a number of American industries. If we could all agree now to share a little bit once we discover it, then we will all get at least some vaccines upon discovery, enough to cover our most essential workers and vulnerable populations, even if we ourselves aren't first. But if we wait until the vaccine is discovered, then it may be too late. The country who discovers it first has less of an incentive to sign up to any kind of an agreement. Trade can be used to make sure the manufacturing country lives up to its commitment to share a vaccine that it discovers and not back out of any sort of deal. Scientific discovery tells us that the first vaccine may not ultimately be the best vaccine. But if that second one is discovered in a foreign country and we've refused to share ours, they might refuse to share theirs. Put all this together and I'm convinced that a COVID-19 vaccine trade and investment agreement is possible to negotiate and enforce.